The MV Yolanda was a 1907-ton Cypriot freighter that was built and launched in Spain in 1964. This 225-foot vessel was owned by the Sea Brother Marine Shipping Company and had a single diesel engine and shaft. On April 1, 1980, she was en route from Piraeus, Greece to the Jornadian Red Sea port of Aqaba. It was during rough weather that the Yolanda struck Turtle Reef at the southern tip of the Ras Mohammed Peninsula. After taking on water for four days, she finally rolled over onto her port side with her bow awash and her stern hanging over the reef's wall. Little by little, she continued to roll over until she was totally upside down. In 1985, she finally snapped the hawse wire that held her in place and she slid down the wall to about 500 feet. But most of her cargo was dumped on the shallow reef at 30 to 60 feet. Since a lot of her cargo included porcelain products, some refer to the Yolanda as the porcelain wreck. There were tons and tons of toilets, wash basins, and bathtubs. When loaded, the bathtubs were stacked tightly together to maximize the number of them that would fit in Yolanda's cargo holds. Because of the presence of Yolanda's debris here, Turtle Reef has been renamed Yolanda Reef. Her cargo also included aluminum and rolls of plastic sheeting, as well as the captain's personal BMW 320 automobile. Today, the only recognizable structure of the Yolanda herself in shallow water is her funnel. <laughs>